Ms. Patrice Wilson, the DMC nurse, abducted and murdered as she walked out of work. Her family wants the hospital to pay up. Family filing a $200 million lawsuit against DMC for negligence. Jacqueline Francis spoke with the family and their attorneys today, and she's live now with the case that they are prepared to make. Jacqueline. Devin, let's go back to May when Patrice Wilson was finishing her nursing shift here at Detroit Receiving Hospital. She was getting into her car when police say she was abducted and killed by her ex-boyfriend. That man is behind bars, but now the question is whether the hospital is also at fault. On Patrice Wilson's 30th birthday, her family gathered not in celebration, but in remembrance, announcing a lawsuit in the death of the young mother and nurse. The suit is filed against Detroit Medical Center, where Patrice rose through the ranks as a nurse. She had the passion for caring for people. You're looking at the outside of Detroit Receiving Hospital the morning of May 13th. Officials say the man forced Patrice, his ex-girlfriend, into her car at gunpoint. He was wearing a blonde wig, hat, and mask. Police say Patrice was later found stuffed in the trunk, shot to death. Her family wanting to know how DMC security didn't spot the potential threat. There was someone lurking around the, their premises before Patrice even got off of work, hours before she got off of work. So that tells me no one was looking at the cameras. Lawyers for the family say the hospital failed to follow protocols and didn't call police until two hours after she disappeared. They also believe the negligence was racially motivated. We feel that their actions speak louder than any words they can give us, or in this case, their inaction. DMC responded to the lawsuit with the following statement, saying in part, quote, the DMC stands behind our security team who acted swiftly to notify and engage local law enforcement to apprehend the assailant. We continue to cooperate fully with law enforcement as they prosecute this individual for the crime committed. We cannot comment on pending litigation. The alleged killer, Jameer Miller, is facing a first-degree murder charge. Of course, that criminal case is separate from this ongoing lawsuit. Reporting live in Detroit, Jacqueline Francis, Local 4. We will continue to follow its progress. All right, Jacqueline.